Okay, welcome back, week two on site, and it's now getting into it. The priority for this week is for us to get the painting finished, it's for us to get everything else stripped out that needs to come out. Um, we've got the electrician coming back in to look at the lighting so we can finish ripping out the rest of the cabinets as you'll see and hopefully have the space fully prepped as the deliveries start arriving and fingers crossed the tables end up getting here on time. The first touch of paint to go on. Terrible technique but it's there. green colour we're going to use, dark green. So when the first Oppingham house opened and we were running out of time, Deck and I got involved in the painting and actually ended up pretty much sleeping there. So when opening night came around, we were covered in paint, bags under our eyes, so fingers crossed, or at least planning this time so they don't have a repeat performance. Everyone's called on sick today. So it's a solo job. So we've got two colours for to choose from for upstairs. Slightly lighter pastel pink. And this is a slightly darker pink. So this has to match the restaurant seating upstairs. So we're thinking to go for a slightly lighter colour. So as the seating's gonna be a bit darker, so there's a bit of a contrast. So we'll try this one. We'll get, have this one as a backup just in case. So we're just measuring up to make sure that the ice machine and the fridge is going to get in here owing to where we've got the, part, the plug sockets currently. So it should be enough space we hope for ice machine, glass washer, fridge, freezer and then have our coffee machine and our blenders on here. So we've started the rip out up here. The guy's about to stop because obviously we didn't realize the electric had been pulled through. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is get the electrician back in, pull the cables up, make sure this is all safe. We're actually then gonna use the same positioning to put spotlights in the ceiling. The guys can then come back and clear this out. And as we said, the, uh, the bench sheet is being built off site. So that can then come down and be built in. It wasn't me that smashed the mirror, so no bad luck, hopefully. And uh, yeah, this should all be happening this week, ready for next week, bench seating, and then we're good to go on that side of things. Obviously this bit's now been delayed, so the intention was this week to begin painting this back wall, but obviously we can't do that until all this has been ripped out. So um, this will, as I said, get ripped out later this week. We then get in and paint gives us enough time to then put the bench seat in. Obviously everything's being stacked so it can be done in the correct order. At the same time, we don't want to store furniture and stuff up here while we're painting and while the work's going on. So fingers crossed we can get this out this week, get the bench seating in, and then gives us enough time to get everything prepped and ready on the basis that we're going to need photos and videos done prior to opening. <laughs> How not to do DIY. <laughs> So with uh, a few positives and a few challenges this week, um, we've actually just ordered all of the marble tables for the restaurant, only to find out that they potentially won't arrive on time. So we've got a, a four week lead time after order and thinking it was less. Um, we had the electrician in this morning, he's been looking at where we're going to need power points to be able to fit the neons that we've ordered and we've discovered they can't go where we initially wanted them to go. But on a positive, uh, all the bench seating is now being built on site and being driven down, ready to put in next week, which will then allow us to paint and get moving on that side of things. And um, we've also ordered our ice machine, our fridges, our freezers, our smoothie maker. So everything's on, way, on the way and being delivered. Um, so hopefully by the end of next week, the plan is that we can start prepping, making food on site, checking that everything's working. And, and hopefully it gives us the time in between then to get everything looking as it should. We've bitten the bullet a little bit today as well because I've just told Open Table to set the booking live. So we're now committed, we're fully, uh, fully in. So booking will be available from the 14th of March. So it means we're gonna start taking people's reservations 
which puts the pressure on a little bit for us to be ready on time. 